For a while, I let my thoughts get to me. I let circumstances of life pull me away from my true being. I let people dictate the way I feel. I let circumstances persuade my intentions with how I want to live my life. My life has been lived, but not by me, but by others who I let affect me, by circumstances I let persuade me. I release the grip of my own life in the name of fear. I let myself be washed up by waves of worry, doubt, anxiety, and fear. I was taken so far back that when I returned, I didn't know who I was. I didn't recognize the person I used to look in the mirror with so much grace, so much love, and so much light. Confusion washed over my head, and I was left with the question, who is that? That's not Elia who brings life into every waking moment. That's when I knew. She went so deep into the pit of her own heart, hiding from all that is because fear had taken over her body. From this experience, I learned that I never, ever want to let fear guide my life. Instead, I listen to and follow my heart. As my life unfolds and I am met with multiple paths, I choose the one in which my heart jumps with joy. I go down that path, embracing the unknown, but trusting it because I look to my heart for the answer. This short-lived journey of letting fear take over me has hit me with a hard realization that this world is divided in two, fear and love. Many choose their paths out of insecurity, out of worry, out of doubt, all in the vibration of fear. Others choose love. They know that when they follow their heart, their life will be filled with love and fulfillment. Because I've walked down both paths, I can say that I choose love. This way, that no matter what happens, I know that I stay true to myself and true to my own heart. I'd like to take a second to apologize to my heart. I am so sorry that I didn't listen to you. I am so sorry that I strayed us so far down our path and that I replaced you with fear. But now on the other side of this, I have taken this lesson and have wrapped it around my head so many times to know that I never want to go through this again. I will never let fear consume me. Instead, I will be consumed by your love. I am committed to following you and trusting you because I know that as we go down this path, I'll look to you for the answers and you'll provide me with what's best for my highest self. You'll guide me into a place of love and I trust that love. I trust myself and I trust this path because I know I'm being guided by you. If you can take anything from this video, it'd be to ask yourself if you want to live your life in fear or in love. Are you gonna live your life based off of insecurity, or based off of all of the possibilities that this world can bring you. Because that's what we are. We are limitless, we are boundless. Love knows no bounds, it doesn't know limits. It's so open and so free. And when you follow that, you'll really see the true beauty of life. And that's what I'm gonna follow. No matter what happens, I trust this because I trust my own love. And with that, I want to end this by saying, let love lead life. A lot of the times we tend to think that we are this body, we are this mind, but we forget, we forget about the soul often. Like the soul is a part of this. We are the soul experiencing this human life. It's so crazy because like, when you are connected with yourself, body, mind, and soul, you realize how powerful you are. And recently I've been stepping into that power and really just understanding the abilities that I have to really just create the life that I want for myself and just create a better me. Mm -hmm.